Hey, how's it going there, folks? Welcome back here to a Thursday night. It is the Earthmaster out here about 7.32 p.m. here, California time. May 2nd, 2024, we got an X flare coming in to the space weather department right now in X 2.2 or X, uh, let's see what we're peaking at, X 1.6. Uh, it doesn't look like it's peaked. Yeah, take that back. It looks like it has peaked there. So an X 1.6 is the uh, current flare that's coming in. That's actually a pretty decent size flare. Uh, looks like it's coming off of the sunspot that's currently facing the Earth directly right now up here on the northern hemisphere of the sun. Beautiful shot of that, uh, of that flare. I'm probably going to take this and create a little screenshot here while it's up there we go uh, absolutely beautiful that looks like it's coming from uh, sunspot number 3663 and I, I chatted about that this morning the sunspot how it's evolving pretty quickly rapidly growing here in size and complexity here so uh, that region definitely has some potential of seeing some stronger flaring uh, as we um, just seen today tonight also another region back here across the southeastern limb of the sun that needs some watching as well so the overall threat right now still somewhat elevated you know with these with this uh, x flare activity uh, at about 15 percent chance 65 for the m flare in, uh, c flare at 99 percent chance and of course we got a radio blackout occurring around the western pacific over there off the coast of japan centered where the sun is highest in the position uh, in the position of the sky in relation to earth here so a little bit of radio blackout that's going to be uh, high frequency and radio navigation systems being affected there across that area from this x flare all right real quick glance here earthquake activity we are seeing some elevated activity stirring up here in japan uh, in hawaii excuse me all over the place here tonight look at all that earthquake activity got about 60 earthquakes or so at least 60 and a lot of that here within the last hour look at all those earthquakes coming in twos and threes fairly shallow as well roughly about uh, less than a kilometer or so right below the surface so this thing looks like it's getting geared up here uh, to see some eruptive activity here soon Again, this is the Kilauea Volcano out here across the Upper East Rift Zone. This is the area of interest here recently. And I was just looking at the uh, webcams here. Let me go over there and double check that and see. Uh, here's the East Rift Zone. It looks pretty clear well, as far as uh, any visual perspective of a, an eruption. But uh, there's definitely a lot going on here below the surface um, that I think we'll see here very soon uh let's see what they got for the latest update here on the kilauea volcano from the usgs as we pull up the uh, website here there's all that earthquake activity goodness look at that uh the volcano currently had a yellow it is not erupting elevated seismic activity continues since uh it, since it fired up there on the 27th of april now they're stating the depths here of these earthquakes remain concentrated between two to three kilometers but as we've seen here in these last um, series of earthquakes in the last hour or so the depth of these earthquakes getting shallow 2.1 there 0.3 kilometers there's uh, another shallow earthquake 2.5 less than a kilometer uh, so things are advancing pretty quickly here across this area of the Kilauea volcano i think it's just a matter of time uh, before we see a fissure activity open up out here away from the crater region. I don't think we're going to see it at the crater area. I'm just basing my observation and my uh, my forecast here on, on observations that I've witnessed out here across the area in the last few months. Um, deformation data. Let's go over here and check this out. We, there, look at that activity right here. <clears throat> it's a little odd reading showing up with the ongoing activity right now uh looks like there's been uh it's kind of hard to tell with that maybe some deflation going on here in the last two days that's a little mark right here uh but overall elevated out here in terms of the inflation that's uh ongoing here in the region uh, I do want to check out a seismograph station here and see if we can spot some fluid movement or magma movement in the area uh, which is probably highly likely out here right now. 
let's see here, seismograph station. Ooh, look at all this activity just occurring within the last hour. So things are, they're advancing quickly here, folks. So this is something to keep an eye on. This thing could pop overnight. Um, or it could wait for, you know, who, who knows what, a couple more days. But the increasing level of earthquake activity, the concentration in this one region, and the advancement of the earthquakes getting shallower, as as we've seen here in the last hour, is indicative there of uh, magma into the area. So we'll definitely uh, keep an eye on it, folks. Some further movement off here on the Lower East Rift Zone, a 2.3 out around the uh, Lenali Estates. I know someone uh, gave me the correct pronunciation there, but uh, I got to go back and read that. I know there's a, a proper way of saying that, so I'll have to double check that. Uh, the rest of the globe out here, or the flat scale model Earth, whichever you prefer, a little swarming going on here off the San Andreas Fault, some also down in the Mexicali area. We'll watch for some further uptick in earthquake activity here, folks, with this X flare coming in. Um, Still seen some movement out there in Alaska. This area was swarming quite nicely here yesterday and overnight and this morning as well. So this is an area of concern. Right now, it looks like we're um, focusing more activity here across the eastern Pacific and out here in the central uh, Pacific plate area, the hot spot that Hawaii sits on. Uh, so we got to keep an eye on those areas. We did see a 5.1 coming in here. Kermadec Trench earlier today. That is a very shallow earthquake here, uh, just north of the North Island area, 5.1. That's showing up here on the globe. This is some newer activity here, some deeper movement into the Tonga Trench. So uh, we'll definitely watch things and see how, see what happens here tonight following the arrival of the X flare. Now that is, uh, could stir up some protons here. Could stir up a proton event. Oh, that's the wrong one. It's space. I gotta delete that one. I keep forgetting. Uh, but look at that. That's an absolutely beautiful X flare. Um, it doesn't get quite. Uh, well, I guess it can get more active than that. But that is a beautiful shot directly facing the Earth. And uh, I don't know if this has an eruptive fe feature on it far as the CME this is very impulsive sharp reading here on the graph indicative there that it uh, probably doesn't have a CME associated with it but we'll watch for it uh, in the days ahead so all right folks um, again watch Hawaii uh, Southern California is starting to light up a little bit as well the Aurora conditions out here have mellowed out since earlier today we did see, see some G3 class storming conditions out here but that has since kind of died off there so Hope everyone has a safe night and um, be prepared. We'll watch for some further uptick in earthquake activity and potentially volcanic activity here tonight on the big island. Uh, we'll be watching it here.